The rhomboid muscles, often simply called the rhomboids, are muscles that attach to the scapulae and they're chiefly responsible for scapular retraction or pulling the backbones in together. These muscles are needed to maintain good posture of the upper back and prevent neck and shoulder discomfort. Strengthening these muscles on a regular basis will help you to keep the upper back tall and strong. Now, with every good strength training exercise, we need a couple of sets. Most people forget to incorporate enough sets into their workout. So we need to facilitate at least three to five sets of eight to 25 reps, reps or repetitions if you want to effectively target the muscle. So again, I'm choosing the upright breaststroke. I'm pulling the arms back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. I'm keeping nice posture. And did you know that posture is trained and practiced? So if we want to have good posture, we've got to train with good posture in the water. Again, from there, we can try a little active stretch with that elephant trunk and kicking the heels towards the buttocks. Stretching out. Again, feeling good and enjoying the active recovery. We can't work all the time, but we do want to work so that we see some changes with our musculature. If you only work on cardiovascular fitness, then it's not going to optimize sculpting of your body. The next thing I'm going to show you is if you were to serve a platter, your palms would be up. So the next exercise is called serve a platter. And we're working very similarly in that instead of the upright breaststroke, we're just going to slice the water and squeeze the shoulder blades together and relax in. And we're going to serve the platter and relax it. So slice the water and relax. What I'm going to try and do is a modified rebound C. So I'm going to serve the platter and then stand up. I'm getting that nice stretch with my hips, my psoas, as I step back. And I'm going to serve the platter and then just relax as I come in. So the palms are up. Can't see it with the mitts. Palms are down. Palms are up. Palms are down. Think about your breathing. Again, think about your posture. If you think that's really easy, let's add a body check. So we're going to go down and we're going to come up and add a body check. Go down same way, and up, add a body check. Ooh, that makes me work a little harder because I've got to secure good balance and posture. Sometimes people are frantically pushing through the water and they're not exactly in great posture with good balance. So take your time, go back, and slice forward. And maybe this time we're going to try with a little jump a little knee tuck. I have to engage the same joint action at least three sets. So I'm going to take three sets of eight to 25 reps and make sure that I feel the muscle fatiguing. That way I know that I am actually benefiting and training that muscle. I won't be able to get through every muscle in every workout but I want to really target some of the weaker muscles that need targeting. Okay. And just a variation in the stretch. You can just give yourself a big hug. And try more uh, static stretching with the upper body keep the lower body moving and you'll never know you're adding those great stretches in 
stretching out the quads and the hips, and a nice stretch for the upper back. The final thing I'm going to look at is the flex paddles. And again, they are part of our Water Art Professional membership. And what's so innovative about the flex paddles is you can open and you can close the vent. So there's five little increments of intensity changes and you can open and you should always start open with the paddles and you can put your fingers in and have the end of the paddles resting on your arms. And I'm gonna go back to my upright breaststroke and I'm just gonna pull and slice the water. Pull and slice the water and feel the resistance and slice the water. And if I want to work a little bit harder, I can close one side of the vent and have a little longer lever. Instead of holding here, I can hold down the shaft a little bit. Pull and slice. And pull and slice. And that is quite a bit tougher. And you'll notice that I can't move as quickly also, you'll see the bubbles on the water and the little white water, so you'll know that I'm working harder. And one of the big benefits of working with equipment is that you won't need as many sets or as many reps to fatigue the muscles. So we can really put a little more into a workout. <laughs> with that said, you always want to start and learn technique and posture without equipment and then you progress to add more equipment. And try to work on quality of exercise and technique, not just speed. Utilizing full range of motion in good posture and engaging the core will optimize your workout.